Well, good Tuesday morning to you folks. Uh, somebody told me uh, yesterday, I believe it was, that I looked pretty good on here. Don't let this fool you. Uh, I won't even attempt to sing a song today, but I will read you um, a piece from this little book. Now, I've read from this before. Safe in the Shepherd's Arms. This is Max Licato. It is a hope and encouragement from Psalm 23. So, for sheep to sleep, everything must be just right. No predators, no tension in the flock, no bugs in the air, no hunger in the belly. Everything has to be just so. Unfortunately, Sheep cannot find safe pasture, nor can they spray insecticide, deal with the frictions, or find food. They need help. They need a shepherd to lead them and help them lie down in green pastures. Without a shepherd, they can't rest. Without a shepherd, neither can we. In the second verse of the 23rd Psalm, David the poet becomes David the artist. His quill becomes a brush, his parchment a canvas, and his words paint a picture. A flock of sheep on folded legs, encircling a shepherd, bellies nestled deep. <laughs> oh, look at that little picture. Bellies nestled deep in the long shoots of grass, a steel pond on one side, the watching shepherd on the other. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. Note the two pronouns preceding the two verbs. He makes me, he leads me. Who is the active one? Who is in charge? The shepherd. The shepherd selects the trail prepares the pasture. The sheep's job, our job, is to watch the shepherd. With our eyes on our shepherd, we'll be able to get some sleep. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. And that is Isaiah 26 and 3. For you to be healthy, you must rest. Slow down. And God will heal you. He will bring rest to your mind, to your body, and most of all to your soul. He will lead you to green pastures. Green pastures were not the natural terrain of Judea. The hills around Bethlehem where David kept his flock were not lush and green. Even today they are white and parched. Any green pasture in Judea is the work of some shepherd. He has cleared the rough, rocky land. Stumps have been torn out and brush has been burned. Irrigation, cultivation, such are the work of the shepherd. Hence when David says, He makes me to lie down in green pastures, he is saying, my shepherd makes me lie down in his finished work. With his own pierced hands, Jesus created a pasture for the soul. He tore out the thorny underbrush of condemnation. He pried loose the huge boulders of sin. In their place, he planted seeds of grace and dug ponds of mercy. And he invites us to rest there. Can you imagine the satisfaction in the heart of the shepherd when with work completed he sees his sheep rest in the tender grass? Can you imagine the satisfaction in the heart of God when we do the same? His pasture is his gift to us. This is not a pasture that you have made nor is it a pasture that you deserve it is a gift of god to recognize god as lord is to recognize that he is sovereign and supreme in the universe 
To accept him as Savior is to accept his gift of salvation offered on the cross. To regard him as Father is to go a step further. Ideally, a father is the one in your life who provides and protects. That is exactly what God has done. God has proven himself as a faithful father. Now it falls to us to be trusting children. God bless you folks. I hope you have a good Tuesday. Everything goes right. I will see you here again Wednesday morning. God bless. Lord, we thank you for the day you've given us. God, I pray that you would bless those that listen today. Those that need strength, those that need encouragement, God, help them to understand that Jesus leads us into his finished work, not us leading ourselves. Help us to be obedient children. Help us to lie down in green pastures where he leads. Give us rest in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. Have a great day.